Okay, this is another short videos for for the solution of triangle. Okay, however, this this video is actually is like focus more on the area. So I'm going to write something like okay, this this is also the solution of triangle. However, in this video actually I focus more on the area part, which I mentioned in the last video actually. We will use this formula area equals to 1 over 2 B multiple B multiple C and then size A. Okay, however, some textbook actually they write for area equals to 1 over 2 A B size C. It actually is the same thing. As long as you understand that the triangle it actually will look like this. Okay, let's say we have a triangle look like this. Okay. If this is the angle, okay, I call this one angle A. The opposite of the, uh, or the opposite of the angle A will be the small letter A. So the other two side, I just simply write B and C. Because B is here or here is doesn't matter. It's the same thing, All right? So if I write like this, I'm going to use the first one, okay? Of course, you will see here this A here mean actually means for the area. Okay, never mind. Or maybe I can use other word rather than area because somehow it might confuse confuse you. Right. I just write area of triangle. Right, so area of triangle equals to 1 over 2 B C sine A. So just 1 over 2 multiple B multiple C and then multiple sines the angle A. Alright. Okay, for example, okay, when do we use this formula? Okay, if we have the triangle with 90 degree. Actually, we, we can easily find the area. For example, we have the triangle like this. Okay, this is 90 degree, and then this is 8, this is 10. We want to find the area for this triangle, actually, it's very simple. We know 1 over 2, multiple base. Multiple base is 10, multiple height is 8. So, therefore, you got this 40 cm square. This is you can find the area easily. However, if you have the triangle with no 90 degree, let's say you have a triangle uh -huh. like this. Okay, assume uh -huh. this is triangle. Uh. Alright. Let's say okay, never mind. I draw a nicer triangle. <laughs> okay, let me use the straight line tools to draw a triangle. Okay. Let's say we have the triangle draw like this, and we do not have 90 degree in the whole triangle. So let's say it's 8, it is 17. Uh, this is 12 maybe all right so let's say let's say okay let's say we have this one is like 110 degree all right and it asks you to find it asks you to find this triangle a lot of students might think that actually they can actually draw the 90 degree by themselves and then they can find both area of triangles in some condition you can but in this condition it's quite hard because you do not know how actually you're going to divide the 110 degree over here. And then you do not know how you're going to divide the 17 into what kind of ratio. Okay, so it's quite hard. Unless this is isosceles triangle, here is 8 cm, here is 8 cm, or here is 12 and here is 12. Okay, isosceles triangle is very easy. Okay, you just divide the angle into the half and then you divide the 17 into the half. Then you can easily do uh, using this method. Like 1 over 2 multiple base multiple height. However, in these cases, we can't. Right. So, in, if in these cases, we can't. So, how we're going to do is, we're going to apply apply this formula. We're going to apply this formula into the, these cases. Alright. So, I'm going to find the area equals to 1 over 2. Okay. You have to decide which one is B and C. Okay. If this is the angle, the opposite 17 is A. So, the other two sides actually is B and C. Alright, so 1 over 2, multiple 8, multiple 12, and then multiple sine, 110. Okay, however, you can write multiple 12 or multi multiple 12 first, then only 8. This doesn't make matter because this one is multiple. So which one comes first actually, it won't affect more. Okay, so let me see. 1 over 2, multiple 8, multiple 12, multiple sine, 110. So basically, you can find the area easily. You see, 45.11. Okay, let's say it's the square. So you can get the area is 45.11. Okay, a lot of students might ask, 
Is this formula applied in the right triangle? Yes, actually it's the same. So if for example you know this is 90 degree, right? So I can use the same formula to uh, calculate for a right triangle. Okay, let's say it's 1 over 2 multiple 2 side is 8 and 10 because this is angle right opposite this A, so this is B and C and then sine 90. Because size 90 actually will give you 1. So 1 multiple this one, so you got 40 cm square as well. So basically you can find out this one and this one actually is the same. So mean actually this formula you can apply for both. Whether you got 90 degree or you do not have 90 degree, both also you can apply this formula. However, this formula must have the condition. Means you must have something like two side and one angle on between okay and one angle on between just like what i mentioned in the last video for the cosine rule okay for example if you got something like this you got a triangle like this like this okay let's say you give us okay this one is 100 and then he give you this is 8 this is 10 okay in this kind of condition actually you can't find the area okay because you got the angle Okay, but then you must have the, the length for two sides. Unless you got 8, 10 is here, then you can easily find the area using this formula. But then in these cases, you can't. So what you can do is, what you can do is, you have to use the sine rule to find this angle. Because I know, according to this one, X, because I know I have one angle and I have one angle and the opposite length. So I can use sine rule like, uh okay like sine x over 8 equals to sine 110 over 10 okay so i can get x and then i use 360 minus this uh, 180 minus these two angle i can get this angle all right so i'm going to show you so this one is sine x over the opposite length is the opposite length is 8 8 equals to sine 100 over what is the opposite length of 100 is 10 so sine x is basic, basically will equal to sine 100 multi over 10 multiple is 8 then you can easily get by solving the, the value so sine 100 divided by 10 multiple 8 and then you press shift sine answer you can easily get the angle actually is 52 degrees so this one is 52 degrees so if you know this one is 52 you can easily get this angle because this angle actually is 180 minus this 2, correct now? So 180 minus 52 minus 100. So you got this one, this angle actually is 28. Okay, if you got this angle and you got two lines, yes, you can find an area easily. Because I say two sides and one angle in between, isn't it? So it's 1 over 2. The two sides over here is 8 and 10. So multiple 8, multiple 10, and then multiple sides, 28. Then you can easily get the area. Let's simplify this one. It's like 5, 40 multiple, sine 40 multiple, sine 28. Okay, so I can get the area easily like 18.78 cm square. This is the way to find area. This is one of the very important formula for solution of triangle. Please remember this formula. You know, this formula actually is very simple to remember. Remember, whenever you want to apply, you know, a, a lot of students do not know what is B or what is C. Alright, B, C is just two sides and then angle A, size, size angle of the thing. Alright, because I'm not sure uh, your reference book is like 1 over 2 A, B, size C or B, C, size A. If, but if not mistaken, in your exam paper, actually, you give uh, this formula. So you must understand where is B, C and A. Normally A is just opposite, uh, it just opposite the angle. Opposite the angle we call A, so the other two sides will be automatically become B and C. Alright, so I hope this video actually can give you some insight on how to solve and how to find the area of triangle. Thanks for watching.